Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. This is the third video on game theory, problems on game theory. First two videos I have explained you the complete concept of game theory. There are two types of games, pure strategy and mixed strategy. Pure strategy game is there whenever saddle point exists. The saddle point will exist whenever maximum is equal to minimax. And if maximum and minimax are not equal, then it is a mixed strategy game. So in the last seven problems, I have explained you about the pure strategy game where saddle point exists. Now in this video, problem number eight, I'm going to explain you about mixed strategies. Now, comparatively, this uh, topic game theory is very easy, provided you must uh, see, first of all, watch the uh, theory videos completely. Be acquainted with the concepts which are used in game theory. What is game theory? What are the assumptions of game theory? What is pure strategy? What is mixed strategy? What is saddle point? Payoff matrix, principle of dominance, etc. So these are the concepts which every student must know before coming to the problems. So if you have not watched the earlier uh, videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operation research. Select the videos of game theory. Be perfect, then you can watch the problems. Before starting the eighth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep the problems ready. Take the screenshot of this eighth and ninth problem. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, <clears throat> see the problem number eight. Solve the following game and determine the value of game. Two players are there, player X is in rows. Two strategies are available for player X. That is strategy one, strategy two. Similarly, player Y is in columns. He is also having two strategies, strategy one and strategy two. First of all, it will not be given in the problem whether it is a pure strategy game or a mixed strategy game. For that purpose, first of all, we have to find out the maximum and minimax. If maximum and minimax both are equal, then we can say it is a pure strategy game. Easily we can find out. But if the saddle point does not exist, then it is a mixed strategy game. Now we will check whether it is a pure or mixed. First of all, see here. Let the strategies available for player X are A1 and A2. In the problem, it is given strategy 1, strategy 2. So we will give the names of the strategy as A1 and A2. And the player B is in columns. The strategy is given are strategy 1, strategy 2. We call it as B1 and B2. So we have given the names. X player, he is having two strategies A1, A2. And Y player, he is having two strategies B1 and B2. And the payoff values are given in the problem 4, 1, 3, 2. First of all, we have to check whether it is a uh, mixed or pure. We need to calculate column maximum, column uh, row minimum and column maximum. As usual, what we have done in the previous problems. Row minimum. First row minimum is 1. Second row minimum is 2. So what is the maximum among these minimums? The maximum is 2. That is called maximin. Meaning maximum among the minimums right similarly column maximum the first column maximum is four second column maximum is three what is the minimum among these maximums three this is called minimax minimum among the maximum now see maximum we got two and minimax we got three not equal First time it is happening here. In the previous videos, all the seven problems what we have seen, every problem, maximum and minimax, both are equal. So we have written it's a pure strategy game. But here, first time we are coming across where maximum and minimax not equal. So it is a mixed strategy game. 
since maximum not equal to minimum so saddle point does not exist so it is a mixed strategy game now let us suppose p is the probability that player x will select a1 because x is having two strategy a1 and a2 so in mixed strategy problem first of all we need the probability of player x selecting a1 similarly probability that player y will select b1 because once if we get the probability of a1 automatically we can get the probability of a2 because the total of probability always equal to 1 suppose if the probability of a1 is 0 0.4 0 0.4 the probability of A2 is 0.6. So if we calculate only one probability, the other probability is known. Similarly, for Y, uh, I mean player, B1 is the strategy. If we find the probability that Y select B1 is 0.3, then it is understood. What is the probability of B2? 1 minus 0 0.3, 0 0.7. So if we calculate the probability of A1 and B1, that is enough, automatically we can get the probability of A2 and B2, right? So suppose, let P is the probability that player X will select A1 and Q is the probability that player Y will select B1, right? And V is nothing but the value of the game. So three symbols you have to remember, P, Q and V, right? P is the probability that player X will select even. How to find out P? Remember the formula. First time I'm explaining the formula with full concentration you observe. Because in the coming problem, same method we are going to apply. P is equal to A22 minus A21. What is this A22? Second row, second column. The first two represents a row and second two represent column. The first figure is row, the second figure is column. A22 means the element of second row, second column. Here we have 4, 1, 2, 3. So I will put it as A11. This is A11. 11 means first row, first column. This is A12. First row, second column. And this 2 is second row, first column. So 2, 1. Second row, first column. Last one, 3. Second row, second column. So 2, 2. A, 2, 2. This is A, 2, 1. The meaning, A, 1, 1 means first row, first column. A, 1, 2, first row, second column. A, 2, 1, second row, first column. A, 2, 2, second row, second column. Now here. <coughs> A22 minus A21. So this is A22. So this is A22. A22 minus A21. Right? Denominator A11 plus A22. This is A11 and this is A22. So A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. A12 plus A21. So again I repeat, if you want if uh, if you want the P probability that X player will select A1. P is equal to A22 minus A21. A22 minus A21 divided by A11 plus A22. Diagonally you take A11 plus A22 in bracket. Then minus A12 plus A21. So this diagonal and this diagonal. Right? Over. P completed. Now Q. Q is the probability that player Y will select B1. Here I wrote it. Player Y will select B1. So how to find out Q? Q is equal to A22 minus A12. See here, in numerator we have taken A22 minus A21. Like this we have calculated for rows. For columns upward, A22 minus A12. So numerator A22 minus A12. Denominator is same. What we have taken the denominator for P, the same denominator for Q. That is A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. That's it. Q completed. And the value of the game, V is equal to A11 
into a22 multiply the diagonal a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 so first this diagonal you multiply 4 into 3 then minus 1 into 2 numerator denominator is same for everything p q and v the denominator is same a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 that's it so we have we got all the values now simply you have to substitute the value in the formula p first we find out p p is equal to a22 minus a21 what is a22 here 3 a2 uh, a21 a21 is 2 so 3 minus 2 so here i have taken 3 minus 2 right denominator a11 plus a22 what is a11 here 4 4 plus 3 here i have taken 4 plus 3 minus a12 plus a21 a12 plus a21 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 4 plus 3 7 1 plus 2 is 3 7 minus 3 is 4 so 1 by 4 we got p is equal to 1 by 4 or 0 0.25 right 1 by 4 you can write or you can write 0 0.25 0 0.25 is the probability that player x will select a1 now we'll come to q in q a22 minus a12 so a22 minus a12 so 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is the numerator denominator is same whatever you have taken for p whatever you have taken for p the same is the denominator for q so 4 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so 2 divided by 7 minus 3 2 by 4 or 1 by 2 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 you can write 1 by 2 or you can write 0 0.5 means same so we got p value we got q value now v value of the game a11 into a22 already formula is here a11 into a22 to so 4 into 3 minus 1 into 2 4 into 3 minus 1 into 2 denominator is same for all the three denominator is same so 4 plus 3 here you have taken 4 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so 4 3 is a 12 1 2 is a 2 12 minus 2 10 10 divided by 4 or 5 by 2 so v is equal to 5 by 2 value of the game 5 by 2 that's all we have completed now what is the solution of this game the first optimal strategy for player x two player we have x and y the optimal strategy for player x is a1 a2 what is the probability that x select a1 this is p and what is p here is 1 by 4 1 by 4 or 0 0.25 is the optimal strategy that player x will select a1 when a1 probability is 0 0.25 a2 probability is 0 0.75 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 or 1 by 4 is the probability of p so what is the probability of a2 then 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 so here the optimal strategy for player x is 1 by 4 comma 3 by 4 1 by 4 is the probability that a x player will select a1 and 3 by 4 is the probability that x will select a2 or you can write like this also 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 and 3 by 4 means 0 0.75 both means same 25 percent he will select a1 and 75% he will select A2. That's it. What is the optimal strategy for player B, player Y? We got B1. What is the probability that player Y select will select B1? Q. Q, how much we got? 0.5. The probability that player Y will select B1 is 0 0.5. Half. That means probability that he will select B2 is half. 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Right? So we can write the optimal strategy for player y is half comma half or we can write 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 anything you can write you can write half comma half or 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 that's it and the value of the game is 5 by 2 that's it this is the first problem i have explained
played on mixed strategy game where saddle point does not exist. Same method will follow in the coming problems also. Always while watching the video keep a notebook pen calculator ready and note down the points which I am explaining. Simply if you watch the video if you do not keep the notes if you simply listen and watch only 50% knowledge you can get. If you want 100% knowledge, suggest uh, whatever suggestion I give, whatever advices I give, follow it. Maintain the notes because these chapters, what I'm explaining in OR, are simple chapters: skewing theory, game theory, simulation. But the problems, main problems, will arise in the coming topics called networking, transportation problem, traveling salesman problem, assignment problem, linear programming problem. So be prepared for that. Now, problem number nine. Given the payoff matrix for player A, obtain the optimum strategies for both the players and determine the value of the game. Again, it will not be specified whether it is a pure strategy game or a mixed strategy game. We have to read the problem and identify. Player A and player B. Player A, we have two strategies, first row, second row. And player B, we have three strategies, column one, column two, column three. So three columns and two rows. We will give the names. It will be better. Let the strategies for player A are A1 and A2. Only two strategies. And player B has three columns. So B1, B2, B3. Right? The uh, matrix can be written as A. A1, A2, B, B1, B2, B3. Take the elements. First of all, we have to check whether saddle point exists or not. If saddle point exists, pure strategy. If saddle point does not exist, mixed strategy. So first of all, row minimum, column maximum. By finding this, we can say whether it is a mixed or pure. Now, row minimum. What is the minimum in the first row? Minus 3. Second row minimum, minus 3. Column maximum. The first column maximum 6. Second column maximum 0. Third column maximum 7. Now we need the maximum, maximum among the minimum. These are the minimum values. In this maximum, is this one, anyone you can take because this is minus 3, this is minus 3. Anyone we can take. So we have taken maximum. Minimax means minimum among the maximum. What is the minimum here? 0. So minimax. So minimax 0. Maximum minus 3. Not equal. The maximum is not equal to minimax, so saddle point does not exist. It's a pure strategy game. It's a mixed strategy game, sorry. It's a mixed strategy game because saddle point does not exist. Now, as usual, what we have done in the previous problem, we will suppose, but, but first of all, to apply this probability, we have to convert the matrix into two by two. We can apply all these formula, this method only when the problem is two by two, two rows, two columns. But in our problem, we have three rows, three columns, two rows. So we have to remove one column. Then only we can apply the method. So we have to apply the principle of dominance. So principle of dominance will be applied to reduce the matrix to two by two. Here one column we need to reduce. In row, we will have the maximizing player. In the previous videos, I told you, always make the assumption that row we have maximizing player and the column we have minimizing player. Minimizing player will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. He will keep the minimum. So now compare. Now if you compare 6 and this is 7. So 7 is greater. Here minus 3 and 4. So 4 is greater. So we can see the elements of B3 are greater than the elements of B1. So B1 will dominate B3. B1 will dominate B3. So we can eliminate the B3. Remove the B3. B3 is redundant. That means B player. The B player will never, never adopt B3. Because the values of B3 are greater than the value of B1. Right? So, 
In columns, we have minimizing place, so he keeps the minimum and eliminate the maximum. The elements of column B3 are greater than the column B1. So B1 dominates B3, hence we eliminate B3. Now the matrix will be 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. A, A1, A2, B, B1, B2. Now for our simplification, we can write this 6 as 1, 1, A1, 1. A11 means first row, first column. And this minus 3 is A12. A12. First row, second column. And this minus 3 is A21. 21 means second row, first column. And this last 0 is A22. Means second row, second column. Right? So A11, first row, first column. A12. First row, second column. A21, second row, first column. A22, second row, second column. Now, let P is the probability that player A will select A1. And Q is the probability that player B will select B1 as usual. And V is equal to value of game. So, we need to calculate P, Q and V. Right? The first of all, P. The formula for P. A22 minus A21. A22 minus A21, right? Divided by A11 plus A22, diagonal. A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. A12 plus A21. The denominator will remain same for P, Q and V. Only numerator will change, right? So here, A22, A22 is 0. Minus A21. A21 is minus 3. So here in place of A21, I am writing minus 3. A11 plus A22, that means 6 plus 0, right? Minus A12 plus A21, A12 is minus 3. So in place of A12, I am writing minus 3. So plus into minus will become minus. So minus 3, right? Plus into minus will become minus, minus 3. So 0 minus minus 3. So minus into minus will become plus. 0 plus 3. Divided by 6 plus 0 is 6. Minus. Minus 3 and minus 3. It will become minus 6. In bracket you are having minus 3 and minus 3. If you add up both you will get minus 6. Minus 3 minus 3 will get minus 6. So minus into minus will become plus plus 6. So 6 plus 6 12. 3 by 12 or 1 by 4. So P value we got 1 by 4 or we can write down 0 0.25. Anything. Both are correct. <coughs> so we got P. Now Q. Q is equal to only numerator will change. Denominator will remain same. A22 minus A12. A22 minus A12. Like this upward. 0 minus minus 3. Minus into minus will become plus 3. So 0 plus 3. Denominator will remain same. 6 plus 0 minus minus 3 minus 3. So 0 plus 3 is 3. 6 plus 6. This minus 3 minus 3 will become minus 6. So minus into minus plus 6. So 3 by 12, 0, uh, 1 by 4 or 0 0.25. So we got 0 0.25p and 0 0.25q. Now V, value of game. So A11 into A22 minus A12 into A21. So 6 into 0, 6 into 0, minus A12, minus 3 into minus 3, minus 3 into minus 3. So first of all, uh, denominator will remain same, 6 plus 6. Denominator will remain same for all the 3. Now 6 into 0 is 0. Then minus, minus 3 into minus 3. So minus into minus will become plus 3, 3 is a 9. So minus 9. Right? So 0 minus 9 is minus 9. 6 plus 6 is 12. So minus 3 by 4. The so value of game is minus 3 by 4. Remember, probability will always be positive. But va value of game V is not a probability. It is the value. So it may be positive or it may be negative. But P and Q always will be positive. Right? So value of game minus 3 by 4. The solution of the game is the optimal strategy for player A is what is p1 value 0.25 so p1 is 1 by 4 so 
uh, what is uh, the value of uh, probability for A2? If this is 1 by 4, this will be 3 by 4. So 1 by 4, 3 by 4. See here, once we get the probability of A1, automatically we can get the probability of A2. Because if A1 probability is 1 by 4, so 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. The probability of A2 is 3 by 4. So I have written 1 by 4, comma 3 by 4. Or if you are comfortable with fraction, you can write 0 0.25, 0 0.25, comma 0 0.75. This is also same, right? Next, the optimal strategy for player B. Player B means he is having B1 and B2. So what is the probability of B player will select B1? Q, 0 0.25, same. Q is 1 by 4. So when Q is 1 by 4, then what is the probability of B2? 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. So here also same. The optimal strategy for player B is 1 by 4 comma 3 by 4. Or you can write 0 0.25 comma 0 0.75. Both means same. And the value of the game is minus 3 by 4. That's all. So in this video, I have explained you two problems that is 8th and 9th. In these two problems, I have explained you how to solve a mixed strategy game. A mixed strategy game is a game in which saddle point does not exist. The saddle point does not exist when maximum is not equal to minimax. That's it. So inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video. So if you're satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.